this is the, the tooling. Pretty cool, huh? And they all go up to a belt, a central belt. And basically what you do is you take those levers and you lock in the pulleys. And that uh, initiates the belt. And so this is the lathe. Got another lathe over there. A little planer. A drill press. There's your uh, grinder, wire wheel. Another drill press. Uh, this is, I don't know, 20s maybe? It's hard to say. Uh, it's all in French. <laughs> oh, wait a second. No, here we go. Okay, here we go. Everybody's ready? Yes. Good. So we want to welcome you at the original garage of Mr. Bombardi. It wasn't originally here, right here. Uh, he had this garage built right beside the Randy Creek River. You may have heard of it. And there was a space for parking, and he had his garage right beside it. So actually, how old was he when he started operating his garage? Nobody knows? No. 19 years of age. So what he did is serve gas, repair cars, trucks, tractors. He would buy cars, uh, fix them, sell them back. And actually, at the time, you used your car spring, summer, and fall, and that's it. You had to retreat back to horses and carriages in the winter because we didn't plow the roads at the time. So here in the garage, uh, Mr. Bombardier uh, also kept a, had a stock room, if you want to come here. Because at the time, I spent you went to the garage and the guys would say, well, you'll have to wait a few months for your parts. So Mr. Bombardi had a pretty good idea what parts could break and had a stock room. And his reputation kind of spread real quick because people would say, well, go to this garage. You'll have your vehicle fixed in no time. Pretty cool, huh? Garage than he was in his office. Uh, nevertheless, 